Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belgica. I feel like I haven't said my name at the beginning of a video in a while. Today is day 10 of Vlogmas. I have been posting a video every day since November 30th, which that's crazy. That's crazy. It's been fun though. It's been fun. I'm trying to figure out what I want to film and what I have the most fun filming and what you would benefit from the most. Last night when I was in my acting class, I uh, got a couple of emails from my agents in San Francisco, a self-tape audition request for a commercial and a voiceover audition request. So since I just showed you the commercial process today, I wanted to show you the voiceover process. I'm going to show you how I record my voiceover auditions and I'm going to show you where I do it, what products I use. I just added another product to my setup and then how I edit my audition and how I send it over to my agents. Everything that I do for my voiceover audition and then of course I will let you guys know if I get booked for any of these in a future vlog. So let's go to my closet because that is where I film. Uh, that's where I record my auditions. Oh, hey, welcome to my closet. Uh, you've been here a few times. I used to use this GXL 2400 USB mic, but I need to have this plugged into either a laptop or a computer and we don't have any outlets in our closet because it's not very big. This is, this is like half of it right here that you can see. When I used to use a laptop, it would also hum in an audition. The fan would start, so I didn't like it. So I stopped using this, but this is a good mic. It was recommended to me by a photographer, videographer friend of mine years and years ago. Shout out to Robert Silver. I'll feature his channel at the end of the video today. I used to use this for my self-tape auditions, my voiceover auditions. No longer. I don't use this anymore because it's, it's just not as convenient. Now, I actually use the mic that I am using right now to record this video along with the voice memo app on my phone. And because I was noticing a little bit of popping, a little bit of sounds that I did not want in my auditions, I purchased this pop filter. And uh, this is about $10 on Amazon. It's on my Amazon Actors Essentials. If you guys want to go check that list out, it's also on my uh, gift ideas. It's a really good stocking stuffer a really good present for any actor in your life um, or person who likes to make videos. It's really good, especially for the price. I've never had another pop filter, so I don't know what to compare it with. But if you compare simply the sound of your voice without a pop filter and with a pop filter, you'll be able to tell. What I do is actually I put the tripod so that it's in the middle of the clothing so i have lots of fabric around me absorbing all of the sound and of course there's a bunch of clothes in this closet which of course helps i am not a voiceover expert by the way i am not a voice a sound expert nothing expert i'm just showing you what i do and it works for me so maybe you should try it i'm gonna move you to right there i'm gonna put you right there and record this and of course, I'm going to close this door. Right behind you, I have a shelf that looks just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it on there with this. So this is a pop filter. And I'm going to put this right in front of the mic here. It's a little high right now because you are here. But uh, I'm going to put it lower right next to my face so that I can speak into the microphone and I'm gonna use my voice memo app to record my audition. I'm gonna do a few takes of the slate and then I'm gonna do a few takes of the actual uh, script. Before I even came in the closet, of course, I read my scripts a few times and I decided how I wanted to say it. And then even now when I start recording that voiceover audition, I'm going to hear myself and see, am I really capturing what they asked me to? A lot of auditions, especially for uh, voiceover commercial auditions, they give you the note of be natural. It's like you're talking to a friend. So then I think about what friend I'm talking to. Usually it takes me quite a few times. And with my name, like I mentioned in my commercial audition, I like to pause between Belgica and Rodriguez a little bit, not too much. I don't want to waste their time. Enough time to give their brain a little time to think about my name because I know it's not the easiest. And then when I think I got it, 
uh, I will stop recording. Sometimes once I go to edit my voiceover, I realize I don't like any of the takes. So I will usually leave my setup in here. I'll leave that tripod. I'll leave the microphone and everything in here. Um, but I grab the phone because I use my phone to read the script. So I'll grab my phone and read the script and then my mouth is close to the microphone facing the microphone i try not to move too much because then the sound sounds different even right now when you hear this it's you know the sound is going in different directions bouncing off of different places so i'm reading my script and i am facing forward sometimes because voiceover you need to have high energy because i can't see your face i can't see your body i will jump up and down or be silly dance around say silly things say it in a silly way to get my energy up sometimes i'll smile when i'm talking so that they can hear that i'm happy through my voice and have more energy those are the things that I do to try and hype myself up, especially because voiceover auditions usually have a way quicker turnaround than uh, self-tape auditions for a commercial or a film. Like this voiceover request, I got it last night between 5 and 8 p.m. And then it's due today by 12 p.m. There's a lot of sleeping time in between. So today I woke up extra early to make sure that my voice wasn't sounding groggy or anything when I record this voiceover. And something that I just remembered that I do, I just went to my bed, but I grab my pillow and I will hold my pillow down here on my lap area with one hand and then that way there's even less opportunity for the sound to bounce around don't know if it works but um it sounds good okay let me record this now and now we can go edit this voiceover since vlogmas started i've actually been editing everything on premiere pro i have the adobe cloud but I'm very slow at it because I'm very new. I'm still learning a lot of things. So self-tape auditions, voiceover auditions, I still use iMovie because I'm familiar with iMovie and I am so much faster with iMovie and everything exports really fast for me because I know what I'm doing. So right now, what I did was I went into my voice memo app and emailed myself that voice memo. Then I downloaded it from my email to my desktop. And for my desktop, I just went ahead and dragged it into iMovie. So you can just edit audio files on here. I raise the volume, but not to the point where there's peaks. So what I like to do first is cut everything. So any breaths that I'm taking that aren't necessary or any really bad takes, any silence, I will cut it all out and then I will have all the clips to listen to. And then after that, I will go through the clips and see which ones I like, which ones I sound the best. And usually I will send my agency two takes and try to make them as different as possible, but still matching what they asked me to. Because in the voiceover request, they did give me a description of what that character what they're looking for like i said usually they will give you the note of it's like you're talking to a friend we don't want to sound you don't want to sound like you're overselling it or too commercial like or too cold we want you to be warm and friendly i will give them two different ones with different energy i'll listen to it if i don't like it like i mentioned i will go back into the closet and uh, record some more but um let's uh clip this one around and once it is ready to go, I click on the top right to export. I export it as a file and audio only. Now they usually ask me to label these voiceover auditions are my name, underscore the name of the project, underscore, and then the agency. But for some reason, for this one, they just asked me to label it as my first name, underscore, the agency. It's likely that's because the clients wanted it that way. The format that I'm choosing is an MP3. And like I said, it's only the audio. And then I just click next. And in a few seconds, it's going to be ready on my desktop because it is a very small file. And then for my email, I reply to the email where they requested this self tape audition, this voiceover audition. So the email that says, Hey, we have a new voiceover audition for you. This is what you need to do. I will reply to that email specifically. So if everything is in one place organized, um, drag and drop the file onto the email. And then I will say, Hey, and then the name of my agent. Thanks so much for sending this uh, voiceover audition request over. Attached is my MP3. Let me know if you would like for me to make any changes. I'm available. Then I'll say something like, have a great day. And then my name. And I'll send it over. Usually my agents, they 
confirm that they have received it because it has actually happened to me before where I thought it sent and because of Wi-Fi issues, it didn't because I never received a confirmation from my agent. I went to my, my sent folders and it wasn't there. And then I went to my draft and I was like drafts folder. And then I saw it there. So I was able to send it and still have it go on time. And then after you have received your email, your confirmation email from your agent, you are all done. So that's the whole process. The hardest part is definitely figuring out how you are going to perform that audition, how you're going to get to that those notes that they asked for. So for me, I've been doing acting and voiceover for a while, mostly acting. I'm still learning a lot about voiceover. I haven't ever had official voiceover training, but I definitely know that acting helps a lot with being able to express different things with your voice only. That allows me to know if I'm going in the right direction. As far as I can tell, you know, if they give me a note of, we want you to be super hyper and happy and peppy, and we want all of the holiday energy, um, then I'm able to say, okay, I am capturing it or no, I'm not quite there yet. Thank you so much for watching. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm featuring Robert Silver. Go check him out. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.